Hacking phone numbers. If I were a hacker, how would I find more information about someone's phone number? Well, let me show you. Now this is called Phone Infoga, Information Gathering Framework for Phone Numbers. It says, Phone Infoga is one of the most advanced tools to scan international phone numbers. It allows you to first gather basic information such as country, area, carrier, and line type, then use various techniques to try and find the VoIP provider or identify the owner. It works with a collection of scanners that must be configured in order for the tool to be effective. Phone Infoga doesn't automate everything, it's just there to help investigating on phone numbers. Yay. So, Phone Infoga is just a information gathering framework tool, if you will, um, to find information about phone numbers, where they're used, um, things like that. So, let's go through the setup and see what's up with Phone Infoga. So, this is the documentation, Phone Infoga. You can see the features right here, programmatic usage with the REST API and Go modules. So that's fun. And the installation. To install Phone Infoga, you'll need to download the binary or build the software from its source code. So you could do a binary installation, which is like downloading something from the app store, but via command line, I guess you can explain it that way. Um, then Homebrew. And then you can also install it using Docker. And if you don't have a Linux box, you don't have Docker, you can install it via Google Cloud. Uh, it comes with a Linux console and Docker on it. But we are gonna be using an actual Linux box using a binary installation, yay. So we have our Linux machine right here, Kali. Pull up the command line. Let's see, yeah, so just copy that command, curl in it from their GitHub. And then you're going to install it globally, copy paste this command. And then you can test the version if you want. It doesn't really affect anything, I don't think, because I've already installed this. Uh, but yeah, and to start it, you just run Phone Infoga. And it says Phone Infoga is one of the most advanced tools to scan phone numbers using only free resources. Usage, phone and FOGA, and then the command. And then we have help, scan a phone number, scanners, serve a web client, which we'll get to in a second, and then version. So we go here to usage. It says use the scan command with the dash in or number option. So these are some commands you can run. Um, so let's just try this command right here. And it has pulled up a lot of information here. Um, results for Google search, which you can see where this phone number has been used. Disposable providers, which like VoIP services. Yeah, free SMS code.com, things like that. Receive SMS online, lots of that. And it's reputation, whose number.info, phone fraud usphonesearch.net, whocalledme.com, and individuals. So I guess this is who is associated. We have a paste bin right here, which is interesting. And then general, I guess just general stuff. Uh, search, doc, Excel. And then we have results for local, international, um, which I guess is just the phone number info. And for easier access, if you didn't want to use the command line, you can also launch a web GUI, which I always think is fun. You know, who doesn't love a little GUI? Graphical user interface, by the way. So launching the web server. Phone Infoga integrates a REST API along with a web client that you can deploy anywhere. Yay. So this command. And then it has the equivalent commands via Docker, but we're not in Docker. So let's copy and paste that command. Phone and Foga serve port 8080. Um, if you don't know, 8080 is like the standard port for like self-hosting like web stuff. The easiest way to put it. And now we are listening on 8080. So if we go to Firefox over here and type in localhost 8080. 
Here we have Phone and Voga, advanced information gathering and OSINT tool for phone numbers. Amazon's customer service. I don't know if customer service would have a social media. Okay, here we go. Amazon customer service phone number. Is it really Amazon? Scam alert. Oh, Amazon customer service scam. Experts are warning of an Amazon customer service scam that targets your financial data. Is it a scam? And then this Google dork is looking through documents, uh, PDFs, things like that for this Amazon customer service phone number. And this number was in this link. Gov sites default files DNC complaints. So maybe it is a scam. And here's some bank information with a lot of PII on it. Um, I don't know why this phone number is associated with this statement. And then we have these weird forms, so I don't know. So here's a fun one. Scammer info has a bunch of info on scammers and stuff, and it has like their phone numbers. Uh, so let's try one of these. This one has an expert response for Geek Squad. And then this is Robert Brown's number. So let's see if it's really Mr. Robert Brown. Valid, true, we're all local, international, country code, US. So here, I think we have their Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, hell yeah, Instagram. Oh wait, I think this is just their dorks. So let's see for Facebook. I think, yeah, this is just them Google dorking, which if you don't know what Google dorking is, it's like looking something up on Google with like special like query syntax, if you will. Uh, just to like get search results easier. And then this Google dork is formatted wrong. So this is the correct format. And I guess no results for this scammer. Then we're searching disposable providers, hs3x.com, nothing. Anyways, that's phone and FOGA. That's how you find some information on some phone numbers. Um, pretty much just like a lot of Google dorks uh, found some weird information. I don't know what the correlation is. Um, is that Amazon's real number? I don't know. I don't even know what we found. So everything in life is a mystery and no one knows the meaning, but we're all here trying our best. Anyways, make sure to like, subscribe, punch all the buttons in the face, and I will see you in the next video.